Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back and Happy New Year. It's been a while. I've had family for the past couple weeks and friends and uh, it's extremely late, but I want to get this done. I want to get back to content creation and actually today I'm probably going to be uploading this when the new Forge comes out, so we'll be talking about that. But we finally got one. We got a Kindled Orchid with Kill Clip Rampage. Now, on my vacation, I can play very, very little and uh, I actually did two forges back to back. My first one was this one, Surrounded Rampage, with the Surrounded spec I put on. So that's my PvE one. And then we have this one with Kill Clip Rampage. Dust Rock Blues is full choke with a uh, sprint grip on there, Pulse, Pulse Monitor Rampage. Uh, Queen's Breaker, we have the vest on the uh, the blades. But here's the deal with the Kindled Orchid, this particular roll. So if you have this roll or you want this roll, there are two things that you have to do. Number one, you have to have a Rampage spec. That adds a second to Rampage. And the second one is a hand cannon loader, preferably enhanced, like I have right here. These two together are what makes this roll work. Because if you've never used Enhance, I mean, a hand cannon loader is going to be fine, but if you've never used Enhance, right when we start this game, I'll do a quick reload. It's almost like Outlaw. So when you do that, you have a solid probably two seconds to get a two tap, because that's what these two perks combined can do to two tap. And then kind of wait and maybe get Kill Clip going again. It's a very lethal combo. All right, the map is going to be countdown. We do have control here, so they're gonna go ahead and grab that. We have two choices. Uh, I'm probably gonna go left with our teammate. That means they're gonna have first, uh, first grab at Bravo, and that's okay because we're gonna be here. So if I take the inside lane, there's a guy below us. He has a Telesto. And there's the 103. There it is. Let's see if we can get it going again. We're just going to have a kill clip, but that's okay. Oh no, let it stop, man. Let it stop. Let's get this guy to the left. That Malfeasance is outranging me. I have people on both sides. So we'll talk about my role on the next death. Give it up, dude. <laughs> Can we catch him on the corner? Nope. Alright, we have to go ahead and wait for our regen. So we did get a two tap. I mean, but you saw how long it lasted to be able to. I mean, here's that reload with enhanced. Really, really good. So let's go and get this angle. We're starting to get the Luna's how the Luna Howls here. Luna's howl. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold them. I want to see if I can one-shot that guy. Good. There's spawns at Charlie. So let's go ahead and set up for him. With all these landmines everywhere. Let's go ahead and throw this right on that pillar. We missed him. Still got him. 93, so the Rampage was still there. Like, that's what's so, so good about this roll. One of the dirtiest things to do is to knee slide. Queen's Breaker. It's gonna go right in their spawn. Oh no, hit me with the, the Monarch, man. I want you first, dude. Alright, 50 to 10. I think we're getting ready to mercy him. I see you. Alright, let's just notice where everybody is. I'm gonna throw that right there for our teammate. Good play, dude. Probably spawning at Alpha. Yep, 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 yep. They have a whole bunch of scout rifles there, so I don't have the range. What we can do is kind of choke them off a little bit. I don't know if I should peek. Together, as one. 78, 13. Oh man. I think 85 is the limit. Watch out for super from these guys, man. Zone A 
future. You have advantage. I don't trust any of this, dude. I'm calling this one. Freaking Gemini Jesters. 94 to 14. I mean, I don't think we died. Um, we might play another one, right? So we went 19 and 0, and uh, we're being thrown into another game of broke up teams. And I'm not sure if I actually talked about it. I think I said I would if I died. I don't think that I did. So uh, this kindled orchid is set up for stability. That's what we got, man. So we're just gonna run with it. So steady rounds. We wanted to accurize right here. Small bore would have been okay uh, where it is. So increased range of stability. We'd have extended barrel, but I mean, if we're going for stability, we might as well just put on small bore. Uh, and then a reload masterwork, which kind of helps with what we want to do here with this roll. But we wanted range, and uh, even this. PVE roll that I have that is surrounded. I mean, it has way more range than it. And I'd say what while we're here, let's go ahead and put on the sword and the chaperone. And uh, this sword, this is. Uh, tell me what you guys think. I'm not a pro sword player, right? So <laughs> we have impact, uh, we have jagged edge or hungry edge, but we have relentless strikes and whirlwind blade. So landing three light attacks gets sword ammo, and then consecutive rapid uh, strikes increase the damage output with with the impact. So this might be a really good one. I don't know. Um, you guys tell me. I haven't really dug into swords. So what I like to do is get really high and I throw this right on their jump up just in case they are and then immediately go That's okay. That's okay. All right, so there's a guy out here. All right, so we do have our stacks. Right there. I should have waited to reload. Oh, never mind. We got it. We good. You gained the lead. And today is our day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> good. Show your enemy what a real so what do I do? I mean, am I going to be that guy that's behind? I mean... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Thanks, dude. <laughs> You know what? I'm just gonna do it. We're going for it. Might as well. I mean, win in room, right? Bro, I tried. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can just hold this off as much as we can. Let's go ahead and choke it off, just in case they, they do rush. I hope that they don't. They shouldn't. Oh no, I needed that. I want more, Guardian. So another big thing, I mean, and we, we talked about it in the Spectral Blades. You do not want to be running around aimlessly. Uh, not in the um, the Wraith mode. Like, you have to be in Wraith mode because you really... You know what? Why not? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I don't know what to do with my hands. Advantage. You know, there's a part of me that really does wish that I had something else. I got you, bro. You know what? I am just horrible at this, dude. Remind me not to do that again. I'm not. I'm not using the sword until I know what's going on. You're good, dude. You're good. We want this angle bad if we can get there. They're gonna be out here in their spawn. Good play, dude. I'm not sure if this is a guy. It is. They're at Bravo. I think he has a Duke. Alright, there's a lot of people here. I am unsure if that's the, okay. That's ours. Good play. We might as well. You captured Zone B. That's a power play. You took them. Now hold. Too many people there. We're gonna reassess. So we're gonna come up when they rotate.
which they never did. All right, so he's in a spawn. I'm trying to help you, I promise. Oh, we ran out of metals. All right, good play. 90 to 27. Oh, they called it. Rip. Let's see if we can get one more. And we went undefeated. So do we really? I, I mean, that game, I think we had a we ran, a ghost, and an undefeated. And we had a lot of bad, bad sword play. But that's all right. We went uh, 94, uh, 94 to 27. We went 23 and 0, right? So... Um, this this hand cannon, I love this thing so so much, guys. I mean, I, I really want it so bad with more range. Um, the other ones in my vault, I have max range. It's the one that you that you want, but I just don't have the perks. But until then, you can do some really really nasty things with the kill clip rampage roll. But again, that's all dependent on rampage spec and a hand cannon loader. You gotta do that. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed it and happy 2019. Until the next one, I am cool guy.